Despite significant tax incentives, solar power continues to be financially unattainable for many consumers. The equipment is expensive, running tens of thousands of dollars for a standard U.S. home, a financial burden most families simply can't take on. Businesses have an even bigger challenge. The energy needed to support an office building, retail store, or manufacturing facility can require a really large PV system, costing hundreds of thousands to even millions of dollars for the equipment and installation. If the sun's power is boundless, why does it take so many solar panels to supply our daily energy needs? In the summer of 2014, the Affordable Energy Solutions team submitted a problem statement to the DOE Sunshot Catalyst Contest titled Solar Panel Efficiency in Non-Optimal Temperature Conditions. In this problem statement, AES noted the disparity between the temperatures for which solar cells are tested and engineered and the actual temperatures in which solar cells are expected to operate. Our problem statement also noted that solar cells lose efficiency at higher temperatures. In simple terms, this means when solar cells get too hot, they produce less energy than they are designed or expected to create. The problem lies in how solar cells work, and specifically, what makes them stop working. A solar cell produces energy when the silicon cells react to radiation from the sun. That reaction produces a direct current, which is later converted into the kind of electricity we're used to having in our homes and businesses. However, when the sun is intense, particularly in warmer climates, and the cells rise in temperature, the silicon can't produce a current as effectively. As the cells reach temperatures over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, they no longer function as designed, and the hotter they get, the less energy they collect. This means consumers are losing out on the ability to harness energy in the hottest parts of the day, and during the hottest times of the year, that can be most of the day. As our energy needs increase with modern life, the answer for solar users has historically been just build a bigger system, thereby incurring more cost, or change your lifestyle, use less energy. But sometimes that means using a lot less energy. Although we continue to improve solar cell technology, the principal problem has yet to be solved. How do we meet the energy needs of modern living with renewables like solar? What if we could harness the energy from the sun more effectively? What if we could get more energy out of a single solar cell? How do we get more for our money and a faster return on investment for solar technology? The solution lies in thermal energy management. In other words, keep the solar cells from getting too hot. The Affordable Energy Solutions team will use open source energy optimization software combined with the revolutionary organic non-toxic phase change material. The PCM is applied directly to the solar cells and helps manage the cell's temperature to maintain it at an optimal functioning level, even in excessive heat. Our software solution will recommend passive thermal management tools for specific PV modules, predicting efficiency enhancement and energy gain, as well as calculate the real-time PV cell temperature, revenue flow, and return on investment, among other things. The essence of our innovative software is to equip PV systems to work longer, work better, and therefore produce more energy per cell on a given day. With this, we anticipate a single panel will be able to support more kilowatt hours than current systems can, meaning smaller systems can potentially serve higher demands for electricity than what is currently on the market. The Affordable Energy Solutions Sunshot team is comprised of five companies and their principals who are well suited to execute this plan. Collectively, we have over 100 years experience in startups, energy management, PV system operation and installation, quality control, process management for power electronics, integrated software development, and advanced research. Members of our team also hold numerous patents on automated controls, a key component of our software solution. We have established a network of customers, both for-profit and non-profit, to engage and shape the development of our prototype. This network encompasses multiple segments of our marketplace, spanning utility-scale PV arrays down to residential systems. They are people who have already invested in solar and are ready to get a faster return on their investment by retrofitting their arrays with our phase change material and PV software. This initial group will beta test our solution as we refine our minimal viable product. As our MVP is refined, we have a long-term strategy to reach consumers of all types, from those with existing PV systems looking to improve output to those installing their very first PV system and looking for long-term results. With these solutions, the AES team is confident we can help transform solar into something the average consumer can afford and enable solar technology to better meet the demands of modern living.